All right, so here we are at the Rolling Burritos food truck in trailer form. That's what I like to call it because it's not really a concession trailer because there's a full kitchen. It's like a full restaurant on wheels. So there's the logos. And in this video, what I'm gonna cover is how to pick the right trailer. Uh, if you're looking for a trailer for whatever reason, if you actually wanna build it out and make it like a food truck, uh, that's, that's, that's what I did. But there's a lot of different ways that you can build this. I've even seen them with bathrooms. Maybe you can live in one. You never know. But with this one, the reason I picked a trailer was because um, based on my construction experience, it was a little bit easier for me to build it out. This is what I kind of knew was familiar to me. Um, it's kind of like a house. Because I just put the power up front, powered it with my generator, and I put my propane tanks in the front. And that to me was familiar and it was easy and it's easy to build. Um, was it the best decision? I don't know yet, right? Because we got to get up and rolling and get the numbers and get the money and be able to say, you know what? This month we made this, this, this and much. But to start off and get any business started, I guess anything is better than nothing. So hopefully you guys are ready to rock and roll. This trailer cost me 4200 I found that on Facebook, the marketplace. Oh, this real cool guy. His name was Stan, and uh, he like builds planes. And it's, uh, it's a pretty cool guy. So something really fast that I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can uh, find out what size trailer that really you guys need. I went with a seven foot wide. And the reason I know it's seven foot wide, obviously is because I bought it, but when I was researching is if you see this wheel well right here, when you're buying a new trailer, if this wall covers the wheel well up to here, it's about an eight foot to eight and a half foot trailer. So when you see something riding down the street, right? And you see that this wall is covering the tires, it's eight feet wide. And why is that important? It's important because when you're driving your truck or you're pulling this with whatever you're pulling it with, um, now that I have this one, I'm glad I went with the seven footer. The reason is because the mirrors. So with my mirrors on the truck, I can barely see the cars behind me. And if I went a little bit wider, I probably have to get like those trailer mirrors, the extensions on it, um, which makes the truck look a little bit bigger and maybe not the look that I want. So I'm glad I went with a seven footer. It's 16 feet long. And when you buy a trailer, you can buy it with a double axles like this, with a double axles like that, or you can buy it with a single tire. Something, you get a little bit closer. Something a little bit more important as well is the construction of the trailer. When I bought this one, it had plywood on the inside. I'm gonna show you guys the inside right now. It's 112 square feet. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually, if you fit everything properly, it's more than enough space to do what you guys want for a food truck. I cut the, I cut the window in and I made sure that the trailer that I bought for my purpose had the right studs. It's kind of like a house, right? You have your, your bottom plate, which is kind of like your house, which on here is your frame, which in your house, it would sit like on the concrete slab. And then from there, you got studs that go up and down, which connect to the top of the trailer, which is kind of like the roof on your house. So it's kind of the same construction. That's why it was easy for me to, to do a trailer instead of a truck, because the truck has the engine underneath the exhaust, and it'd probably be confusing, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing yet. So if we take a peek inside, you guys are ready. Ooh, it's warm in here. I left it kind of warm in here because I do have my soap in here and I have uh, water in my tanks. So what I did, like I said, this is a 17 by six foot trailer and I put my tanks in the front. So like I said, I measured everything out and everything actually fit like to the glove. It was like almost perfect dimensions. I have my hand sink that the health department requires, the three compartment sink that the health department requires, obviously to wash your hands, your soap, uh, to make sure that you're uh, up to standards of what they want. Very, very important. We were able to pass that approval in eight minutes. You know, if you have everything in line, uh, I was kind of scared to do that one, but we had everything in line. So there was really, it was just in my mind I was scared because I've never done it before. I do have my three compartment sink uh, up there, my uh, sanitizer and my detergents. So like I said, everything has to be efficient in here, right? Every square foot has to be used now that I go into restaurants, you like look at them and be like, man, you guys waste a lot of square footage in here. Woo! And over here, everything's like prime real estate. Have your, uh, and this one, like I said, is 112 square feet. So we have a lot in here. We have your fire suppression system. I have my, my burner right here. 
to be able to cook up some breakfast burritos because rolling burritos is a breakfast food truck that's going to be serving the illinois chicago area in dupage county i do have my griddle here food warmer these right here um are for um it's like a fire thing right you have to pull the thing and like a bunch of spray falls on here and just you know keeps all the food um from burning up and taking the whole thing making it toast right instead of breakfast burritos you have a toast a toasty trailer so um i put this in here this was a little bit of a decision for me on what kind of trailer to buy i bought one with the window up top because they had three studs that went on each side and that meant to me that it had extra framing right it's like in your house you have extra framing extra studs the more studs you have the more support you will have when you put something heavy like this on it so make sure that when you're buying a trailer you look at the build of it right make sure that the studs are 16 inch on centers uh, make sure that it has enough for you to do what you want it to do so this table right here is eight feet long 96 inches this right here is my um they call it my prep table this is four feet long so between that and this you have 12 feet back there i have my trash can so now i'm sitting at about 13 feet i add the beginning part of my uh my three compartment and everything up there that's three feet so this whole trailer is 16 feet long so now you can see where every foot is accounted for on here on this side we have, we're gonna put like a little cash register thing over here. Um, and this is just gonna be for little things that, you know, you wanna put on there. You know, I don't know the specifics of that yet. And then you have your tray on there. So this side on here is a little bit more minimalistic because we kept it that way. Cause it's like where we're gonna be just throwing burritos out. Right? So with that, that's a seven, what the heck is this? 16 foot long, seven feet wide, food truck trailer. That's what I call it, food truck trailer. So if you guys are looking to build something like this or make something like this, this is exactly what you can fit in a 17 by six, 16 by seven foot trailer, man. 16 feet long, seven feet wide. This is what you can fit in there. Uh, when I was looking at YouTube videos, trying to decide, do I wanna go eight feet wide? Do I wanna go 20 feet long? You know, you can, but it adds more weight and that more weight you have to buy a different kind of pickup truck to pull it so make sure that all those numbers are accounted for this weighs about six thousand seven thousand pounds when i went to go weigh it seven feet wide so it has more than enough space when you go on here these are 24 inch wides these are 18 inch wides so it gives you enough space to move around maybe like another person can fit through here so this is a seven foot wide trailer so when you're purchasing, those are the tips I can I can give you on what I purchased. Is uh, this has more than enough space for what we need, and if you buy it at a good price, you can be out the door. I think twenty thousand bucks. Get a business for twenty thousand bucks. Woo! Can't beat that. So Frank Voltiers with Rolling Burritos, serving the breakfast best breakfast burritos for you guys. So let's go.